MasterCard on the daily chart series of lower highs and lower lows below that 200 moving average. I'm going to evaluate this potential area of resistance right here, right around 340, 341. I'm looking at the history of this chart, looking at some pullbacks to the upside before more downside correction, clicking from that pivot low, pivot high, pivot low. That'd be my first price relationship. Over here, I have another pullback, also very similar in dollar amount. Pivot low, pivot high, pivot low. Zoom in a little closer. Using my fib retracements, clicking from that pivot high to pivot low. I also have a 3A2 retracement. Jumping on the hourly chart, we also have price trading nicely below that 200 moving average on the hourly chart. What I'm looking for is MasterCard getting back up into this pocket of potential resistance. From here, I'm looking for more downside correction. So now on a 15 minute time frame, it must provide me with a trigger. But over here, there's something to do until it starts to exhibit exactly what I want to see, which is a nice little pop to the upside, but not breaking above this cluster of symmetry resistance and those are the fib retracements. So if we jump over to pre-market right now, we're up over $6, trading at $339. So right here at this level. Let's see if the session can open up to more upside into our pocket of potential resistance from here, more downside correction. Have you subscribed to my Fibonacci Zone newsletter? What you will get, you will get a free mini course with instructional videos on Fibonacci trading, access to high probability setups that I'm buying and selling and why, and also lessons from my life, the victories and defeats to help you grow. I'll leave the link below in the descriptions. Look forward to connecting with you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.